let's do a desert cactus scene. A lot of people have been asking for this. So on my mop brush, I'm going to use yellow in the middle, back and forth strokes. We're going to do another type of sunset, even blending in a little bit of white there. Without washing my brush, I'm going to take a lighter green blue, moving up the picture a little bit. Don't forget to go back and blend that line. And then I'm going to take some darker cobalt blue at the very top. It's up to you how much you use. I'm going to go down a little bit further because I want this to be more of a nighttime scene. And then dry it really, really good for the next step. Taking red, orange, and a light brown, I'm going to take kind of a round brush. We're going to do those kind of plateau mountains you see um, in the desert. I'm going to do a line across the bottom of my sky and then do some lines kind of going down and up. But notice the tops of my mountains are straight instead of pointed. And make sure you have yellow above your mountains too because when you go to fill it in with that same color, I don't want you to lose all of that really pretty yellow because it kind of completes the rainbow. I like to go in then and then add a little bit more of that that light brown for shading at the tops of those flat parts. And I want my mountains to be a little bit taller, so I'm gonna bring that line down even further to make it have a more color. Taking my mop brush with black paint, now I'm gonna do kind of a wavy line. You don't want your ground to be perfectly straight, but I'm going to fill in the rest of my page with black then, doing back and forth strokes. With a little bit of white then, I'm still not washing my brush. I have black and white on my brush. I'm bouncing it, bounce, 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 like a bunny, We're adding some tumbleweeds. This just adds a little bit more interest in the uh, front of it and you can blend in the bottoms of those too. Love that. Now let's do a cactus using dark green and a medium brush. I'm going to do a line from top to bottom on the left hand side of my picture. Make it a little bit thicker and instead of doing V's like we usually do for branches we're going to do U's. Cactuses have U's so pulling down and up round it off and even round off that edge. You don't have to bring them out to a point like regular trees. I'm going to add some use to my cactus. Notice I'm kind of moving them up my cactus and they're getting a little bit smaller as I go up, kind of alternating back and forth. And then I'm gonna give him some little friends in the distance with a detail brush doing the same exact thing. Um, little ones can even point out towards the top. I'm gonna add one, toward, one towards the bottom there. There we go, let's give him a friend that's a little bit taller right on the right of him. Add a couple more U's. It's up to you how much detail you use. If you really get fancy, you can even add little U's off of your U's on your big canvas or big cactus too. Now, I don't like to leave my cactus pretty dark like some people do. I like to add highlights. So using green and white, I'm going to add a highlight like I do to my trees. This is just a different type of tree, really, I guess. Um, when painting. I'm going to add some highlights to all the different arms that it has. I don't know, are they called arms or branches? I'm going to go have to look up um, cactus terminology now. Or are they called cacti? Ooh, I have some research to do. And doing one, let's make that one a little bit taller. There we go. Now I'm going to take my mop brush again with black and white and just add some texture across the bottoms of those unfinished edges from where your cactus were planted. I'm going to do that on the left hand side too, like that. That just makes it look a little bit more interesting. I like that. It's simple but adds a little bit of interest. And let's do something to the sky. If you do a backwards C with yellow and white, you get a moon. And I'm gonna use a toothpick to add stars. No, I'm not gonna do the splatter stars this time because I wanna be very intentional. And like you have all mentioned, splatter stars kind of look like snow sometimes and there would be no snow in a desert scene. So there you go. There is a super simple desert. Have fun.